piercing pain, that constant anxiety and fear, that painful and depressive state, that constant worrying, that guilt in experiencing pleasure, that terrifying loneliness, the deafening silence, that aching desire to scream, that little voice that sends you over the edge. It's a new way of being. Gather yourself and find a good spot to cry, cause it's about to get real. Prepare yourself and find a moment to take a nap, read a book. When you're done crying, reading and sleeping, prepare your mind, body and soul for a war on your being. Hold steady and keep calm, you will meet people along the way who will hold your sweaty palm. In the words of Diane de Prima, it might be It's an ogabi, a pen, a camera, a mic, a phone, a book, a gun, paper spray, kickboxing, music. Practice till you're perfect. I'm sorry, I don't know if fighting or writing will make the pain go away. I don't know if a bubble soak bath will do, but it's all I have. I feel that the pain mostly does not end. We walk with it. We get used to it, we smile with it, fuck with it, tweet it, retweet it, like it, follow it. But let the pain allow you to feel bliss. Walk the streets loudly and find yourself in the chaos of being a target. And when deep in the throes of an orgasm, remember why you're here on this earth. In the biggest scheme of things, we might be smaller than a speck of dust only just big enough to exist. Is there any meaning to any of it? All the ones before us do notice their unjust struggles and pain and pride. We came along with our freedom and our phones and still face the same demise. A life where only death has meaning. Like forgotten artists, we are only held high in hashtags when we die. Our lives are nothing but something that can be ruined, ended, because we wore a skirt too short or couldn't pronounce a word. We've marched, bared our breasts to the masses, named our rapists and killers, given a face to our oppressors, yet we continue to feel the stifling pains our foremothers tried so hard to protect us from. We go far and wide seeking refuge. Lines drawn on a map determine who we are and for how long we belong. We remain true to the weak characteristics of being human. Our children are desensitized to violence, a norm that has lived in our DNA. My friend calls it generational violence. Anxiety engulfs us. Freedom is a state of mind so hard to obtain. You can't even go to the fucking post office. Too female, too vulnerable, too far. Thank you.